I am a failure. That's probably not the first thing you expected me to say, but it's true. I'm a failure. Why, you ask? Well, because this motivational quote right here tells me that I am. As does so much of the messaging that we receive online, through social media, from influencers, in TV shows and movies. Never give up. How many times have you heard that? Well, I did give up. And I'm here to tell you that it's OK to do the same. So what is it that I gave up? I was a singer, a singer-songwriter, in fact. It was a career that I had dreamed of since I was seven. And by 21, with a lot of hard work and a bunch of luck, I became a reasonably successful singer, touring the country with my band. I won awards, I topped charts, I even played at the Sydney Opera House. I was living the dream. Except, I wasn't. While music was literally my dream, the reality was quite different. Music was a struggle for me. While other people seem to enjoy the climb, the everyday hustle of trying to make it in the music scene, I did not. I found the day-to-day -day draining and unfulfilling. OK, you're thinking, so you don't like something, then leave. Seems simple, right? Not so much. While we're often told that if something isn't working for us, that we should leave, quit that job, leave that partner, I'm sure that any of you who have actually had to come to that decision would know that it's just not that easy. And with dreams, it's almost expected that the going will get tough at some point. We're told that only those who are committed to their dreams will ever make them realities. And so we continue on, hoping that soon the struggle will pay off and we'll be one of the lucky ones whose commitment is rewarded. To do Anything other than music felt like a betrayal of myself, my dream, and everybody who had supported me along the way. My life and my music had been intertwined for such a long time that I honestly didn't know who I would be without music. Not to mention the stigma of failure. The idea of giving up felt like I would have to walk into a room filled with every single person who had ever said, I'd never make it. Climbing on a table in front of them wearing some kind of novelty hat and saying, you're right, I didn't make it. Worse than that was the idea of telling my friends and family, the people who knew me and knew how much I loved music. Letting people down, especially those you love, has got to be one of the worst feelings. I think most of us would do a lot to avoid feeling like that. So for me, leaving didn't really feel like an option. I didn't know it back then, but my first step to changing these unhelpful narratives was taking up a new hobby. For me, that hobby was an undergraduate degree majoring in animal behavior. It was within this degree that I started to grow new dreams. Maybe now I could be like Jane Goodall or David Attenborough. I went from performing under bright lights in big cities to collecting data in the dust, rain, and heat. I came alive. Suddenly, I understood what musicians had been telling me for so long about how they were doing it for the love. I was doing it for the love, except it wasn't music. It was science. It wasn't just the highs that sustained me anymore, but every single day with its little wins. I loved it. But too bad, right? The only failure in life is in giving up. I had poured so much of myself into my music. So that must be what was going to make me happy, right?
So I found myself in a bit of a teenage romance-esque love triangle. Except instead of choosing between two dashing love interests, I was stuck between two life paths. One that I had already begun to clear with music, and a new, unknown path with science. I would spend three years in the middle of this triangle, but eventually, I had to face the facts. I had been experiencing burnout, anxiety, and depression for a long time. I felt like I was falling apart. And in many ways, it was because I was holding onto a dream that didn't want to hold on to me. So, I let go. I gave up. And in doing so, by many definitions, I failed. But failure wasn't what I expected. I didn't feel like a failure. I wasn't chain eating tubs of ice cream and crying like you see in the movies. I was sad, but more like the sadness of coming home after a wonderful holiday or of graduating and knowing that soon you'll have to leave some of your friends behind. It was a deep sadness, but a loving one. And underneath it was something new, a feeling of excitement and possibility. Giving up allowed me to grow and adapt in ways that I'd never permitted myself before. Giving up on my dream stopped me from giving up on myself. Okay, good for me, right? But what does this have to do with you? I'm willing to bet that some of you have a dream or an idea that plays on your mind. Maybe you're actively pursuing it right now, or maybe it's taking up headspace on a shelf. If you are sitting here and you are thinking that maybe you too are pursuing a dream or an idea that no longer serves you, but you're just not sure if it's time to let go, this is for you. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself. Is your heart still in it? One of the first things I noticed was that I started to avoid my music. I delayed everything. Each day would just take so long because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be there. Your time and your life are precious. What are you putting on hold so that you can go after this? Are you neglecting your relationships, yourself? Dreams are meant to be concepts that we enjoy pursuing. So pay attention to how you feel and be prepared to accept that your heart may have already checked out. It's just waiting for you to catch up. Why did you start? What was it that made you pick this dream in the first place? Is it even your dream or is it an expectation that somebody's placed on you? Are you currently finding it a struggle, but you're hoping that if you just keep going, you just get to the top of that hill, that then you will feel relief. I hate to break it to you, but the way that you feel during the process is often how you feel at the destination. Because really, there is no destination. It's all journey with some pit stops along the way. Maybe you chose being a doctor because what you want is to feel valued and to make a difference. Can you find those things another way? There are so many ways to find the fulfillment that you're seeking. Maybe it's time to let yourself try them. Do you just need permission? At my lowest, all I wanted was for somebody to tell me it was okay to give up. I Googled it, I listened to podcasts, just hoping that someone would say those words, but they didn't. And while I would love to give you that permission right now, it's not me you need it from. It's yourself. What I can tell you 
is that you can trust yourself. Trust that you will make good decisions. Trust that if you make a mistake, you can adapt and fix it. You have your best interests at heart. So listen to yourself. Okay, so maybe you think it is time to let go, but you're not really sure what to expect. I get it. I always like to look ahead too. Lucky for you, I've already walked this path. Here are a few things that I've learned. There will be a grieving period. Just as with everything else you've ever had to let go of in your life, there will be adjustments. It's okay to let yourself reflect and sit on your decision for a while. You don't even have to tell anybody else about it yet if you don't want to. Allow yourself to pause and feel whatever it is that you need to feel. There is no rush. Check your ego. This was probably the hardest for me. It's that little voice in your head telling you that you're a failure for giving up, that you were never really good enough in the first place. It's the part of you that's worried about what other people will think. The thing is, most of us have had our dreams change at some point. It is very rare that anybody gets exactly what they want in exactly the way that they imagined. This is a very human experience that you are going through. Most likely, the people around you will understand. But if they don't, that's not your responsibility. You can only control your internal world. Trust yourself, back yourself. And if you have to, show through your actions that the choice you are making is yours and that it's right for you. You may even find that in doing so, you allow the people around you to feel safe and inspired to make their own changes. And finally, if there's one thing I want you to take away from today, it's this. Nothing is permanent. You have choices. The point of letting go of one dream is not to just get stuck in the next thing that you decide. The point is to allow yourself to be and grow and adapt as you need. You can change your mind at any point. You can change direction at any point. And every decision you make will benefit all future versions of you. So don't worry about picking that perfect path. Pick a path and remember that you can backtrack or make new tracks at any point, informed by the ones that you just left. You may even find that the new direction you pick walks you right back around to where you wanted to be at the beginning, but in a way that you never imagined. Abandoning your dreams isn't abandoning yourself. It's honoring and accepting what you truly need and who you truly are. It's allowing yourself to grow in ways that you never imagined. I honestly never thought that I would be studying a PhD or that I would be happy as a scientist, covered in dust. But here I am. Even still, the time that I spent on my music wasn't wasted. Everything is connected, and I am who I am today because of how I have lived each year of my life so far. I am growing and changing, and it only makes sense that my dreams do the same. I am not a failure. And neither are you. Giving up isn't failing. It's just a step in a new direction. <laughs>